My name is Kevin Butt. I'm an associate professor of agriculture at Ellsworth Community College in Elwood Falls, Iowa. And I've been teaching SMS software now, I believe, for at least six years. I'm thinking even seven years now. Matt Lansing, Western Dubuque High School in Epworth, Iowa. Hi, I'm Melinda Martin from the Dakota Precision Ag Center at Lake Region State College in Devils Lake, North Dakota. So it's really great to have some high school educators here. Uh, in the past, it's been primarily junior colleges and universities. What turned you on to using SMS in a high school class? Uh, well, I work a lot with our community colleges. Um, a couple of people that are at the, the academy today. Um, and we actually are seeing a huge push from industry that they cannot find um, enough people that understand using the software and the hardware. What's, what are some of the things that keep you coming back, Kevin? Um, just the nuances, because this technology changes all the time. I mean, and just coming here every year and learning what's new, what's coming on, like what's downforce, and, and that's stuff we need to take back to our students and explain to them. So that's the benefit I see coming every year is you know, learning what's new, um, even with the new versions of the software, you know, because that keeps changing and making some great changes. And that's, that's the benefit is taking that back and being able to share that with the students. You're teaching them all kinds of communication skills, not just with their peers, um, but with yourself and then also those growers that you're working with. Uh, do you see a lot of those students, is that really giving them a leg up? Do you foresee that when they go into the university or do you see just as many that'll be farming? Well, I, I, family farm? I think um, our local co-ops are probably going to snatch a lot more before they get to the university level. The reason being is when they first come to us, the understanding the hardware, um, the devices, everything like that, uh, most high school kids or college students are very, very familiar with it. If not, they can figure things out very quickly versus someone that's 40, 50 years old that might be kind of forced into learning it. Um, so they're looking at it as if they can come in and have these younger generations teach or assist them, uh, it's going to be a more practical world is, I guess, the way it works for them. So I feel that it's going to not only give them a leg up, but they might be getting job offers right off the bat without even going to school. One of the, we had a great discussion this morning in the SMS class about the need for junior colleges as well as universities to really start having more curriculum sharing. Mm -hmm. um, as a whole, do you see that that's something that's lacking? I mean, Precision Ag, especially as a major in college, is still very young. Mm -hmm. So what are the ways that you think that having forums like this where educators can come together and, you know, industry organizations like your own, how can that benefit in the future? Oh, I, I think the, the curriculum sharing, first of all, just setting sort of a national set of standards or, or, or a skeleton. I mean, our geographic areas are going to be different, require different topics, but at least maybe a framework. Um, of where to start with precision classes. Um, so everyone is at least somewhat on the same page. Not exactly, because our regions are going to differ drastically, but at least a start. So we're all somewhat doing the same thing. Um, forums like this are great for that. Maybe we can, you know, uh, those of us who are here today are from many different regions or several different areas, but at least we can start to know how do you start this class or how do you start that class or what do you cover in Precision 1 or Precision 2. And forums like this are great for that. And if firms such as yours can help initiate these things and facilitate these things, that is great.